ever since I was a little kid, I'd be wandering around in, in the fall or in the summer. I was just always intrigued by the insects, the small things. I was little. Some people are intrigued by you know, seeing a, a football or a basketball, or some people are intrigued by you know, getting a paintbrush. I was intrigued by the beautiful wasps and the bees. I, I don't really you know, look forward to getting stung. It's just kind of one of the, uh, the hazards of my chosen you know, activities in life that I'm trying to answer questions about stinging insects. You know, I'd been stung, like I said, probably 500 or 1,000 times by honeybees. So I said, well, we've got to get some numbers. We've got to rate that owl is less than that owl, which is less than that owl. How do we do that? Well, come up with a pain scale. I usually work on, on the higher levels, the, the genus, which is kind of like the cluster of species that are all very similar. So the number I usually go by is in, in the book, Sting of the Wild, where I made a table of these, and an appendix in the back, I have 83 listed. 10 fire ant stings hurt me about as much as one honeybee sting. So you can, you can continue that, that extrapolation. The 10 honeybee stings were heard about as much as one good Maricopa harvester ant. That's the red harvester ants we see running around on the sidewalks here in, in Tucson and in the Southwest. You got 10 of those, 10 of the harvester ants would be about equivalent to one bullet ant or one tarantula hawk. So that's pretty much relationship. There fortunately aren't any fives.